we've all been told the stories. We've heard about pilgrims, the Mayflower, Indians, new land, and enormous turkeys romping through downtown Tokyo. But when it comes to facts, how much do we really know about the first Thanksgiving? No, the Indians did not don red and fill the pilgrim's belted stockings with popcorn. As beguiling as fabricated myths are, we need to delve into history and separate fact from fiction. The pilgrims had very strong beliefs. We did? Yes. Oh. Seeking more freedom, they sailed in search of new land where they would be free from the oppressive influence of cranberry sauce. Forever. They landed at Plymouth Rock and wrote, Pilgrims was here on it, much to the consternation of the natives. They were ecstatic about the new cranberry sauceless land. They held a feast, because they believed very strongly in feasts. Isn't it great? A land without cranberry sauce. Certainly. Certainly. Brothers, sisters, let us give thanking for the bounteous absence of it. Oh, look. We have visitors. Ooh, visitors. Let us go greet their bounteous presence. Good day, all but naked stranger. We are so glad you are here to make our clothing look ridiculous by comparison. Would you like to join in our thanks of giving? How? It is so simple. Simply... Peace pipe bring peace. By the curiosity, are you a farmer? <clears throat> I hunt vegetables in my garden. He brought it. He brought it here. Cranberry sauce. I will not eat cranberry sauce. To what we left. I thankful for bows and arrows and spears and tomahawks and snares and knives and biting dogs and fists of steel and I'm thankful for cranberry sauce Mmm, Cranlicious. He brought it again. He brought it again. Oh, he brought it again. He brought it again. And that is how cranberry sauce became a Thanksgiving staple. Cranberry sauce good for hunter's burn. Whoa!